Okay guys, I wanted to, uh, okay guys, so the other day I posted a video about the, uh, the dumping grounds over at the Big Kmart, the abandoned Big K in Canton off of Route 62. And I wanted to come over here to the Toys R Us off of, uh, what is this, Whipple in Canton. Um, this one's been closed down for a while. This is the place that I filmed that um, actually is my biggest video I ever put out. I think I think it has like almost 200,000 views. But after I put out that video of the Kmart, I never noticed this before. Hold on a minute. Let me finish what I'm saying. <laughs> after I put out the video of that Kmart, somebody told me that that same thing is happening over here at this Toys R Us. So I wanted to come over and see for myself. And first... In looking over here at this lot, this is the lot beside it. The Barg Max over there, that's closed down now, but that used to be Kids R Us. It's connected to the building here. But you can see there's no trash over here. At one point, and I think I may have filmed this, there was like a big stack of tires or I think it was those rings that actually go around um, the barrels that they put on the road when they're working on the street. But, uh, but those were like right over in this area. There's nothing else over here right now. So it looks like they've cleaned it up as well as some junk that used to be back there. I recently heard that somebody bought this building. Now let me just jump back for a second and tell you what I was thinking about that I just said that I never realized before. Looking at the Toys R Us sign up here, you can clearly see where the old T was right before that T. The label scar from the old one before they changed it. I never noticed that before for some reason. I don't know why, that must have been the S up there. So it was a longer sign. I don't know. It's strange how many times I've been here and how many times I've filmed here that I never noticed that before. Let's see if we can take a look inside though a minute. Nah, you can't really see anything because of reflection. All the lights are off this time. They were on for a long time. They still have like the uh, the cash registers and the lane lights and everything and there's skylights that bring a little bit of light in there but but that's it so let's walk around here see if we can see anything around the side or maybe even the back by the dumpsters i think those i think the last time i filmed out here was with richard wolf and these doors i mentioned this before in a couple videos you see the um the little thing up there the sensor a lot of times with these closed down buildings if the electric's still on you can walk up to these doors and you can hear the sensor kick in but it won't open the doors let's just see for the heck of it because i'm curious nope oh my god guys it looks so creepy in there now i know you can't see much but there's a lone shopping cart that's a cool picture for instagram right there I would love to just be able to go in there and, and just walk around a little bit. Listen to that snow. <laughs> Let's see what's out here. Oh, yep. Here we go. Here is the dumping grounds. Look at this. It's just people's trash, man. How ridiculous. Why can't you throw your trash away at home? Look at this. There's toys, there's shoes, a bike helmet. This looks like a baby seat. Oh no, it's a printer. It's just somebody's trash, man. Absolutely crazy. Shoes. And this is like, it's gotta be a dresser. Let's take a look. Glass. Yep, it's a dresser. What kind of shoe is that? It's Adidas. <laughs> Another TV. I always find these TVs at abandoned places. I mean, obviously nobody wants them anymore. They would be cool to fix up. Or if you ever saw the movie Grumpy Old Men, remember how uh, Ann Margaret's character made like a, what was it, a fish tank or something? Oh, just a bunch of brush and stuff here. What am I stepping on? Boots. Hmm. Nothing else back there. Well, let's take a walk. Screw it. I don't want anybody to mess with the bee while I'm back here. Be safe, bee. I'll be back soon. <laughs> okay, guys. This happens sometimes with this kind of door. 
the pressure from inside pops them open. That thing is solid. I'm not even gonna try to pull on it, so I am not about trespassing. Okay. Yeah, the pickup signs are gone. This is where the big dumpster was when me and Richard and Kara were out here dumpster diving. I think that's like my fourth most watched video. Nothing over here at the moment. But I do see a couch by the dumpster over here. A couch and a chair. So I've been trying to think of some reasons why people would do this. And one reason could be that some uh, trash companies will charge to pick up bigger items like this. And people don't want to pay it. So they'll just bring it over here and dump it off. But other than that, I mean, like I know that where I live, if I put this stuff out front, either somebody will pick it up within about 25 minutes or the trash guys will pick it up. That actually seems like a pretty good uh, recliner. I don't mean the condition of it. <laughs> I mean the condition of like the mechanics of it. Because recliners like really quick after using them for not too long will like pieces will break inside because they're actually made really cheap and they'll slunk down to one side i have one at home i need to fix that's like that but anyway that's that's what's going on behind here it's not too bad it's not like it was out of the kmart but it is becoming a dumping ground so hopefully the guy who bought this will be able to uh sell it or lease it soon and somebody will get in here and clean it up you know i don't have a truck or honestly i've considered coming around and cleaning this stuff up myself i'm just kind of like that you know and there's the bee safe and sound i would die if like while i'm walking back down this way looking at the bee if like a big truck or something just plowed into it <laughs> Or somebody ran up, jumped in, and took off. I mean, not like it's unlocked, but... All right, well, that's all there is to it. Toys R Us. One last look here. I'm anxious to find out what this place is going to turn into. I heard that one was recently sold for like one and a half million to somebody. Million or billion? No, it would be million. Anyways. All right, guys. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Peace.